We return now with more of Kingdom Hearts 358 over two days. We are still continuing with this tutorial. Time to see how this is gonna fare. Now listen carefully, your mission today is to perform reconnaissance in this area. Recon- what? What about fighting Heartless and collecting hearts? Oh, there's far more to the organization than that, boy. Our work wouldn't go half as smoothly if we didn't gather the needed intelligence beforehand. Fortunately, you are in good hands. I will be by your side today to help stimulate that insensate mind of yours. First, take a look around the immediate area and report anything unusual you find. And don't go wandering too far until you've carefully examined the clues closest at hand. Really not easy to pull out that vaccine voice. For recon missions like this one, you need to approach recon points and press A to examine them. You must defeat any nearby foes first. Recon points you find are marked on the map. Pretty simple. Fill enough clues to make a breakthrough and the mission gauge will fill. They'll review new recon points allowing you to proceed with the mission. Now let's examine anything suspicious. Hello. Yeah, but there's something here. What is it? Wow, what do they sell here? That's your job to find out, idiot! And we gotta take down these guys. These are possessors, and they look very different from what you'd expect in Kingdom Hearts Union Cross. Thankfully, you got the work done on that one. This spot's paved with different tiles. It's like a road. Fascinating. And? Uh... We'll never get anywhere when you simply state in the obvious. Yeah. You're right, we really can't. I think they sell jewelry here. Anyone can see that. The point isn't to wander around gawking. Analyze what you see. Um, there are a lot of shops. Well, there are a lot of shops. And? This could be the center of town. Could be? Are you asking me or you're telling me? Roxas, you're looking but not seeing. Here's what I see. This whole town was built along a mountain. That's why the roads slope. Houses have been built along the terrace, and at the top is a station. The trains there are the town's primary system of transit. Up there, see that clock tower? That's the station building. Based on its location, we know the tracks are properly elevated. And this must be downtown, all these shops in one place. Now, what about this path you pointed out? Trains must, trams must run here. See, look closer. There are marks. You figured all that out just now? But that's just it. I only stated what I saw. There was no figuring involved. That's the next step. Analyzing the data you find. The clothing and jewelry shops tell us how these people live. This whole town is a blueprint of their lives. Distressing. Very distressing. Your mind wasn't made for this, was it? Well, you're not off the hook yet, boy. If I let you quit with these results, I'll be the laughing stock of the castle. Follow this path and investigate the remainder of the area. And stay on the path, if you please. 
Everything you need to know about this plaza lies along it, provided you are capable of connecting the dots. Why do I know how to pull off a good Mexican voice? We actually get a new breakthrough for this. Alright, so at least that's a plus. So now let's see where the path leads. And it says to follow the path on the tram. But even if we did that, that'd be utterly pointless. And that takes care of these guys. I almost said we found a breakthrough or something. Right here. The entrance is shuttered. It looks like the road leads right into this building. Then you should have already pieced together what the entrance is for. And more possessors. This is getting us nowhere. Absolutely nowhere. There's a big hole in the wall. I can see some woods on the other side. We're investigating the town now, but they don't teach you about these barricades. Yeah, they did. Well, they did teach us something, right? Arches, staircases, seems like an easy town to get lost in. Easy to get lost? Your job is to be mentally mapping this place. Think if this is a landmark. Consider it a clue. Sure thing, then. Wait, there's more, right? It's locked. You don't have to open every door we pass, you know. Try to remember that we run a covert operation. This town may be quiet, but it's not empty. If you allow yourself to be seen, you'll become a target of investigation. Yeah, yeah, whatever, Vexen. An underground tunnel system. It's shuttered. Note the number over the door. That's this gate's designation. It says number four. Precisely. Four, not one, which means there are multiple gates. We've been through this whole area. Alright then, what have you learned? Well, um, let's see. This town has a lot of overpasses and underpasses, and the tram seems to circle the plaza. Oh, and there was that entrance that looked like it led underground, but it was shuttered. Anything else? Huh? Oh, um, uh, Never mind. Wouldn't want you to hurt yourself. You're showing some improvement, at least even if your natural talents do fall willfully short of my own. You're done, boy. Go ahead and RTC. I could have figured it out if I had more time. Oh, is that so? Then take all the time you like. But don't hold yourself up to my standards. Little stop steps for little minds. Yeah, Vexen can be kind of a douche. We get a new breakthrough, but our work's not done. If we complete it and find something, we may be lucky. But yeah, it doesn't it does say mission complete, but it's not actually complete yet. We did find the chest, thanks. And there's another breakthrough, and it means more possessors. And yeah, Vexen battles with his shield, the claimer. No, that's Frozen it's the shield frozen pride. This spot's out of the way and surrounded by buildings. But why would they leave this space open? They must have a reason. It's kept clean, which means what? People pass through here a lot. Precisely. Finally, a glimmer of insight. At least that's something, right? I swear, Vexen. Doing these early missions can seem like a bloody chore. 
but worth it if we want to find everything. And yeah, taking these guys down is no big deal. Since we have a scan option, we can actually see how much HP they have before they go down. But let's check out and see if there's anything else that may peak of interest. Looks like there's something here. That entrance with the shutter leads into this area, and then the road stops. We know the road is for the tram, so this must be the tram yard. At last, a modicum of intelligence. My teaching is paying off. Not bad. You'll finally start to see the bigger picture. But while I applaud your effort, you need to be able to see these things at first glance. Oh, right. Your goal should be to gather the maximum amount of data in the minimum amount of time. Spend too much time dallying and you risk being seen. Sometimes the locals will be wary. You need to be wary. I understand. Today's mission was just an exercise. I am satisfied. Let's return. At least that pleased Vexen. Thank goodness. But yeah, all this can be quite of a challenge. But yeah, completing it completely nets you the most amount of rewards. I figured I'd say that, because why not? Let's RTC and get ourselves out of here. Yeah, expect this to be like this for a while. That concludes today's mission. Any questions or concerns? Um, how often do I have to do this? Whenever the organization needs to know more about a world, naturally. Every world is unique with its own terrain, values, heartless population. Any number of variables that could be turned to our advantage in the missions ahead. Wait, every world? You mean there's more than one? Yes, boy. You didn't think you'd be mulling around here forever, did you? You will visit many worlds for many reasons, but our ultimate goal remains the same. Kingdom Hearts. That's right. Now come along. I swear, trying my best Vexen impersonation just really didn't go much. We did get at least a dodge roll, though, that thankfully. Later on, I discovered the job was more than just a commute between the castle and that town. The walls between worlds are steep, so we create our own ways. Dark corridors which lead to every place imaginable. At least that is something. Day 13. Deeds to be done. Roxas. I have decided to pair you with Lexius for your mission today. Come see me when you're ready. I'll be as good as ready when I say I'm able. There he is, the silent hero. Another of the founding members of the organization. Now let's get that dodge roll equipped. With this, we can be able to dodge things with the Y button. I didn't think it would actually be like some kind of command. That's at least something. Oh yeah, you can also press the Y button as a shortcut in between missions to go straight to your panels. That's a first. Why is he so silent? So, um... Do you know what a limit break is? No. It is the most powerful move at your disposal. One that only works when you are on your, on your last legs. A heartless... I mean, a 
heartless. Time for some practical application. Huh? Ow! What was that for? Ugh. There. Now you're on your last legs. Let's see you use your limit break and defeat this heartless. Now we learn about the limit break. You need to hold the A button when your HP falls in your level range. Your attacks will deal massive damage until the white line reaches the left leg of your gauge. And this is pretty much what Roxas' limit break is. Allows him to do like light based attacks. Well fought. Yeah? Organization members are often asked to conduct solo missions. The only person you can count on here out here is yourself. So I've noticed. <sighs> you and that Keyblade are invaluable to the organization. With your job, however, comes risk. Each mission will pit you against more and more Heartless. And I have to face them if we're gonna complete Kingdom Hearts, right? Correct. So what happens when Kingdom Hearts is finished? What good does that do us? We will unite with it. You and I will gain hearts of our own. I don't understand. When the time comes, you will. In the meantime, there are deeds to be done and only you can do them. So you need me? Yes. Are they good deeds? Good for the organization. Right. Always a silent hero, aren't you, Alexius? We should return. Silent, stoic, and to the point. And he also wields like a large axe sword. Now let's return back. That mission didn't take long. We also gain a skill gear. Transforms your weapon and allows you to string together faster, longer ground combos. Nice. Our group had its good apples, just like it had its bad. But everybody wanted the same thing, to complete Kingdom Hearts. What is Kingdom Hearts? What happens when we gather enough hearts and finish it? I didn't know then. Still don't. But I'll fight for my chance to be someone whole. Fight against the darkness, for however long it takes. Good motivation, Roxas. Now we reach day 14. Hey, Roxas. It's you and me again today. Okay. Check in with Sax when, well, you know the drill. I don't know what they've cooked up for us, but let's get it done with style, huh? Right. Oh, by the way, Roxas, today will be your first really real mission. That means you should definitely prep your weapon before it. Oh, and if you want to practice what you've learned so far, we've got the Hollow Missions all set up. Hollow Missions? Yep, basically they're a way to re-experience missions you've already been assigned. Think of them as simulations, probably. Saix may stop issuing some missions after a certain date. Don't worry, you can always try any mission later. Just select Hollow Missions from the main menu. Installing a weapon panel transforms your weapon, changing its appearance and abilities. You can only install one weapon panel at a time. Each has a different feel, so give them all a try. A new entry is added to the diary. Now let's change things up and get a skill gear. And the skill gear also pretty much changes our weapon. Ain't that nice. The new weapon we get now is this. I don't even, I don't even know its name though. Let me check on the hollow missions, I think. Yeah, transforms your keyblade into something else. Okay, I get the point, but it doesn't tell me what. Whatever, I'll just stick with it then. Yeah, this is the missing ache. Yeah, your skill gears, they can change your keyblades out completely. And changing them a lot lets you do a lot of different things. Today we will be your first true mission. 
Check in with Saex to see a list of currently available missions. You select the mission from the list first, then you'll get a mission briefing. You can use the D-pad to review the summaries and then press A to begin. And this one takes us to Twilight Town. Our objective is simple to collect hearts. That's the objective. And the rewards? Well, you can get this. The Block Command along with the Shining Star and the Moon Star. Let's go! And expect this to happen a lot when I play this game. Our second mission together. Yup. Sheesh, don't talk my ear off. You ready or what? What? Oh, oh yeah. Come on, Roxas, you're being like a zombie, dude. Now we gotta defeat Heartless and collect hearts. A pretty simple objective at that. This must be where the hangout is. Rain or Pence and hold that on. Fortunately, there's nobody there. These the low times are pretty simple. For a DS game. And yeah, your keyblade changes depending on what you equip. Now we reach the upper part of this. We gotta look around and find Emblem Heartless. But at least there are chests here we can get our hands on, right? Very nice. And don't worry, if you go too far off and your partner misses you, don't worry, he comes back. Like that. Now the real fun begins. Emblem Heartless and Possessors. Yeah, we gotta take care of these guys. Yeah, but there are too many to count. Oh yeah, because the fact that you only got boost on the ground combos is like a big change. And yeah, and yeah. That really is thanks. Continue. And yeah. Thankfully, you can be able to continue immediately after you left off. Oh yeah, gotta take advantage of the dodge wall. But I also feel it's a bit delayed. And now we wreck everything, and the camera's a bit too finicky for its own good. Come on, what are you doing? Uh, why did I go down like that? Makes me wish I had an ability to block. Oh wait, unlike most Kingdom Hearts games, you go down with the remaining enemy. Jeez, at least that's a relief. If it weren't me starting over from the beginning, that would really get me mad. At least we do get some health pack. Oh goody, they bring out the big guns now. Now you're really up against them. Scarlet Tangos? Yeah, the dodge wall is necessary to avoid some of these enemies. That did it. But I feel like a complete wreck. RTC authorized. Now the dark corridor is open. Very good. Now we can at least head back. Come 
much better. For a real mission, these guys are testing us. Let's see if we can find anything else in here. Thank you. Thank you, Axel. And who is this? A bulky vendor? What are you... Ah, oh, come on, really? And yeah, that dodge roll just doesn't give me enough. It only gives me like a slow amount of momentum. And that takes care of all of them. Thank goodness. Why do I feel like I'm missing one treasure chest? I don't know why, but I just do. I gotta find it. I actually found two of the chests, and the third one is not even around. And yeah, that was a rare enemy we encountered. If only I had like better combos and such, I would be able to take it down. But no stone is left unturned. Ah, there it is. I can't believe I forgot it. Wait, my atoms are full? My backpack is full, huh? I knew it. Yeah, you got stuff in your backpack. If your backpack's full, you're gonna have to waste it until you actually be able to be open again. It stinks, but what can you do? But yes, at least we got all that taken care of. We can now hopefully move on. And hopefully get out of here. And expect this to happen a lot as I progress through the game. They want to find a way to speed things up. So, got any plans? I was just gonna report to Syx and then go to my room like I always do. Go to your room? Oh, Roxas, Roxas. Move it, Pence. Hey, wait up! Last one there has to buy the winner an ice cream. Oh sure, now you tell us. No fair, Hainer. Better get flying if you don't want to end up buying. Who are they? Hmm, must be some kids who live here. Really? They sure acted weird. Yeah, how do you figure? Why did those last two seem to enjoy getting pushed around like that? They weren't even making those ha ha noises. You mean laughter? Sometimes people with hearts do that even when it doesn't make any sense. Oh, and I guess they're different from us. Come on, let's get some ice cream. Why? What do you mean, why? Because we're friends. So, friends are people who have ice cream together? Sort of. That or laugh at stupid stuff that doesn't make any sense. Like those kids we just saw. They were friends. Come on, I'll show you how it works. I swear, Hainer, it wasn't my fault! Yes, it was! I saw you drop it! 
You owe me an ice cream. Get back here, Pence! Come on, Hayner. You can go one stinking day without ice cream. Hey, Roxas. Let's meet up for ice cream again after your next mission. I mean, who wants to spend their days just bouncing between work and the castle, right? <laughs> Not me. Hey, I laughed. I guess we really are friends. At least that's a happy ending indeed for you, Roxas. And we leveled up. Leveling up gives us access to a level up panel. And we also gain the block command. That's gonna be mad useful. Day 15, missions. And a new entry is added to the diary. Before we begin, let's take a look and take care of these. Besides, we still waste them. And yeah, this is where your character levels up. When this happens, your character gets boosted up. Considerably. And this is where the block command kicks in. Yeah, this, you can't install that here. It's incompatible with this link set. Yep, see what I mean? You can't. Certain items don't let you do that. Then which one does? Yeah, some commands don't often work. Either way, at least we leveled up now to level 2, and that's a plus. I think I may do one more mission, and that'll do it. Yeah, each mission's just day by day by day. Sometimes it gets repetitive, and other times it doesn't. At least now we can get our work done with the next one. Roxas, I've assigned you another handful of missions. Some will be mandatory, but beyond that, our policy it is that you set your own work. The order of execution is also for you to decide. Start with the missions you feel most prepared for. Some of the missions you receive from the organization are mandatory. They're marked with a key. Once all of them are complete, you can advance to date or choose to hold back until you finish up all the missions. You can choose to do it however you see fit. And there's like a lot of missions here. So for this, we're going to start with... Mission 8. Eliminate the Watchers. Watchers are surface in Twilight Town. Team up with Larxene, find them, and eliminate them at once. Alright then, let's go. And the mission starts. We must beat the Watchers. Well, let's hope we can actually get this done, right? And yes, there will be parts where I'm devoting my time to at least getting this done. And there's Watcher 1. Yo, those same guys that we met in the Thousand Heartless fight? Those guys are like a real fan in the case. And what makes it worse is that these guys are annoying. Yeah, there you go. That's what you deserve. Excellent. Let's move on. Let's see if we're lucky enough to find any other watchers around here. Not bad. Will you s smack me around? That's not a nice thing to do. And there are two watchers, huh? Wait, did we take care of that other watcher? Yeah, we did. We have to continue onwards to the next mission. And this is where the fun starts. Four watches in a row. 
It's like you're asking for trouble, right? You're just asking for it. These large seeds can help us out here with these. And I go down. Expect this to happen a lot, unless I have the right blades for the job. I'm as heavy as a brick. Thanks, Large Scene. You actually made my work a little easier. No, seriously, you actually made my work easier. Cheers. Sometimes having a partner actually does help you. And in some cases, it doesn't. We actually get it. I am. Well, I'm more curious about that. And the last one. And mission complete. That turned out to be a bit better than I thought. RTC authorized. Let's get out of here. Wait. Now you want to waste my time with this garbage? Fine, get wrecked. Wrecking you is the only thing I'm ever good at, though. And after every mission, it ends with Roxas would eat ice cream on the top of the tower and, well, Twilight Town. Something I wish I could do, but normally I can't, because I'm way far away from that. And we get rewards. We also get iron. We can use it to synthesize, so that's nice. And the story doesn't continue until, well, you give the order to advance. So expect this a lot. New day, new mission. Yeah, you have like two more missions left. Alright then, let's see where we can move on to the next one. Hopefully I can put all that to use. Exactly. We can advance the story now if you want, but no, we're just going to continue on to the next one. Next one's number 9, Twilight Town Collect Hearts. That's what we're going to be doing. But regarding the Zip Slasher, nah. That's not our plan. Yeah, that Sim Slasher is also a really hard enemy boss. You could beat it at a low level, but that's not recommended. And yeah, we're teaming up with Marluxia. The guy was polite to Roxas, but you can actually tell that, yeah, he has an ulterior motive. He has a motive that screams really bad, though. I mean, what are these shadows doing here? Why do I gotta waste time with them? And there are seven chests. Not only that, your objective is to actually find all the chests that are around. And sometimes, pure blood heartless is always there. And I like how you get to actually play as each of them during, I believe, the mission. The game actually has multiplayer, but it's mostly local and not online. Online, there are like no online play whatsoever. Not that it would matter because Nintendo already shut down the Wi-Fi connection in 2014. God, I felt sad when it went down. It was like a really sad day. A really sad day for a lot of us. When that went down, it was like the worst thing. Alright. There you go. already got five out of seven, so that's nice. Nice, another fire recipe. And this net says the fire recipe.
this is what also is going to make things ridiculously hard. Because when you have to contend with some Heartless, some Heartless get more challenging than others. Yep. You can only hold a certain amount of items. And it takes care of all seven. Now we need to collect hearts and get it done. Yeah, but where are the where are the emblem hearts? They're not even around here, are they? Oh, they actually now give you access to here. Okay, let's do that. Thanks, Marluxia. You may be a weird dude, but at least I can get it done, right? And this is where we have to take down these guys. Yeah, the thing is with Emblem Heartless is that, well, these guys can't defeat them. Fine, let's just go limit break on them and finish the job. And yeah, their attacks get madly deflected. And RTC is authorized. We're good to go. At least that's taken care of, right? And there's the powerful enemy that you should be warned about. A guy you don't want to mess with. Let me show you what I mean. This is the guy in question, Zip Slasher. You can try your luck taking him on if you want, but I don't recommend it. It's not only fast and deadly, but its attacks can really hurt. Although, if you th think what I'm thinking, you're, I could be a bit crazy or nuts. At least we can use Marluxia as a bit of fodder for getting it done. You just gotta watch out for its strike attack, and you're pretty much managed. You're pretty much good to go if you think. And you gotta watch out for when it does its spin attack, followed by its strike. Simple, easy, and to the point. If you can be able to dodge all of that, Oh dear. You may be a level 2, but it won't matter much. See, it's gonna repeat the cycle again. You could also block the attack if you want, but yeah. Yeah, just watch out. See? See that? And it repeats. You see how Marluxia is able to guard that easily? Uh oh, here we go. Piece of cycle, then good turn and go back. You know, I could just pretty much take him down. You know what the heck with it? Here we go. Okay, here he goes again. Dang it, I'm down to two bars and this is getting nuts. Yeah, this guy's actually really easy if you know what you're doing. But taking him down takes him a rather long time. And then I wouldn't recommend it if you really are this determined. Oh, nice. I get my health back. Ain't that a plus. Down to three bar. Already take Will down three bars from this guy.
Leave it to the AI to actually consider actually helping me out with this. Good God. Okay, here we go again. Wait, so I decide to fake? Just gotta keep going with this. Okay, here we go. Alusha, maybe you should be a bit more careful instead of being careless. Thanks, dude. You actually turn out to be more useful than I thought you would. Wait, it's actually faking its move? Sometimes it doesn't always attack right away. You just gotta be really careful. Alright, yeah, watch out. Look, if we beat this thing, I'm gonna be so happy, at least. Okay, ching. See that? I'm down to two bars now. Like, two and a half bars. And you can actually hit it a little bit at a time. It'll take a roughly like a few minutes if you actually put the time and effort into it. And yeah, it can be a mission-based grind, so I may have to like plan something like speed things up. So that way you guys don't have to see all the slog that comes with it. If anyone has any suggestions on how I should do the whole mission-based thing, please tell me. Because I don't want things to take too long. Yeah, let's be honest, people nowadays have the attention span of a goldfish. And what makes it stupid is that, yeah, people don't like to waste their time watching longer videos. They prefer shorter videos that don't take up too much of your time, and, yeah, that. And that's what makes it really bad. Really, I got hit by that? That's it, that's it, that's it. And I go down. Yeah, I tried. Honestly. And if you try again, well, yeah, let me tell you this, his HP comes back. Wanna know, wanna, wanna see for yourself? I almost had him, though. I almost had him, but you seem to get the idea of this. I tried. Yeah, it stinks that I may not get the reward, but whatever. See? Look at that. Your health comes back up, and I'm not gonna waste my time. I'm gonna head back and get it. Because I would rather live than having to go through all that trouble again. Wasted a good six, seven minutes just trying to beat this thing. Don't worry. Once you get, like, better gear, you can be able to take this guy down rather easy. Though you are going to miss out on rewards. So you pretty much get an idea of how this entire thing works, right? You get an idea of how each mission structure pays off. You go in, beat down Heartless. Done. You're done. That's it. Sometimes the mission depends and the variation and whatnot. Yeah, but you only get like regular rewards, not the good ones. Now we got one more mission and that's probably gonna do it. Let's make sure we prepare ourselves before then. Well, we are actually doing a bit better. And don't worry, when we get when we go further down the line, we'll have more options. And now let's tackle the last one. Prove your endurance. Herein will determine your fitness for future missions by conducting assessment of combat. Prove your endurance by surviving for one minute in the arena, set up in the castle. Fight or flee. Whatever you do, think fast. That's simple. Just think of it pretty much as a training exercise. And yeah, your opponents today are dusks. Meaning that survival is of the fittest. And yeah, you don't have Kingdom Hearts 2 ability to do reversal, so... You're gonna have to at least learn how to endure this. Okay, that's it. Shred him down. And I go down. That's what I really hate sometimes.
Yeah, you have to actually go through this a minute long. It's all about fighting for survival. You gotta watch out for when they go on the offensive. My best strategy for you is just dodge and then get out of the way. You don't want to end up getting wrecked. Alright, that's it. Sure, this training exercise is for the pits, but let's be honest. Ah, come on, really? I'm not gonna have time to be able to get this in. Oh, I hate these things. Come on, dude, really? All right, finally, now I can heal myself and manage this. And yeah, too big of a close-up, right? You have to actually hit them thing to cancel them out of their attack. See what I mean? Yeah, and these guys will not give up until you're beat. I only have 12 seconds left, so you know what? I got no regrets. Now your history. And that is it. Finally. That was an ordeal, and it took me like three tries to beat it. At least I'm thankful that is over and done with. How's work? Going okay? Yeah, can't complain. That's good. At least that's a relief, that's for sure. With it, I gain another level up, as well as some goods. Let's fast forward five days. Left behind. And a new entry is added to the diary. And let's make sure we check what's up. Roxas, today's mission is mandatory. I've assigned Axel to assist you. I see. Mandatory, huh? Eliminate the Guardian. Okay, we can do that, but I'm gonna end it here because we're taking too long. Yeah, we're almost at an hour. I'm gonna end it here. That is going to be it for this part of 358 over two days on DS. Expect this to happen a lot. And if you want to see more, please be sure to hit the like button. It really does mean a lot to me. Do not forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and more importantly, click on the bell. You want me to keep doing this? Your support really does matter. I'm not saying this out of like sarcasm or anything. I say it because I put a lot of work into this. I mean it. This is Mega Man NJ signing off. Peace out.